Welcome to episode 21 of Renovation Reality here in Brookhaven, Georgia. Now remember last week I told you, you didn't get to go back into the house and that is true, but we have hit a final snafu with only four days left. We live in a naturally humid environment and in the last four days it has rained every day. Currently we have 93% humidity and we like to call those bad hair days, but unfortunately it also affects the drying time of the hardwood floors. They've been stained and they're sitting there and they're having a hard time dry. And we've got countertops, lighting fixtures, plumbing fixtures, all this little stuff that still needs to be done with only four days to go. But we've got a very special guest this week and I can't wait to take you through the house on the outside with this special guest to show you what she does to make sure that the house feels good when the family moves in. So make sure you watch it all the way through. As promised, this week we have a very special guest, Darshna Patel. Now Darshna is with the Unscripted Way and Darshna's specialty is actually cleansing the house of negative energy, bad spirits, or bad juju. Just like the termite contractor said, when the soil is disturbed, termites tend to swarm. So it's really important that you actually treat the house for termites after a big renovation. Well, the homeowner kind of thought the same thing about bad juju and bad spirits. I've actually had Darshna treat my personal house and it was pretty cool. It's a neat little ritual, but more importantly, I'm a child of the 80s. I grew up with poltergeists. I kind of believe in this stuff. After she treated my house, my boyfriend broke up with me. It was really awful, but I figure it's her fault. No, I'm kidding. But she cleansed the house, but also protected it from negative energy or bad juju from coming in. So maybe that's why he broke up with me, I don't know. Have you ever had any weird experiences in your house that you could use someone like Darshna? All right, so now I've got Darshna with us and Darshna's gonna walk through a couple of rituals that she likes to do to cleanse a home from bad juju or spirits. Now, you may have heard of feng shui, which is the ancient Chinese art of developing your home or your property and sitting it right on the actual land in the right direction, even down to the staircase and the front door being aligned in just the right way. Darshna comes in after the fact, so kind of explain to us what you do. Sure, so what I do, I work with the energy in the home. So I'm feeling it out, I'm picking up on where energy might be stuck or stagnant, not moving. I'm feeling where the energy might be a little low and we're bringing some harmony and some movement to the energy, the chi that also feng shui is working with, and we're raising the vibration and infusing the homeowner's intentions like love and peace, well-being and, you know, ease into the house as well. Okay, so you're in Atlanta. I'm sure you've run into some really kind of freaky situations. What, uh, do you have any good stories for us? I have so many. The one that speaks to me right now is uh, a home, brand new construction built on a Civil War battlefield. And so there were a lot of poltergeist activity happening in the house. So I went in and helped the homeowner kind of clear away those spirits. So I do everything with love. So we're helping to transition these, these energies into the light. Oh, that's so cool. So watch it all the way through so you can see a few of these rituals. And we'll make sure that Darshna's information is at the end of this video in case you have some weird things you want to cleanse out of your space. Okay, so this will be just feeling the where stuff is, and I know that corner already has something. So what I'm doing right now, I'm using dowsing rods, which have been used to locate things for thousands of years. So what I love doing is walking through a space, and when I feel like there's some dense energy, like over in that corner, these dowsing rods will confirm that for me, and then I'll work to move the energy. And then you should start to change. It might point in a different direction and then I'll keep moving the energy out like that. So what I'm doing now is smudging. You can use white sage or even incense, many different things you can burn and the smoke helps to clear energy and you can infuse your intentions as you're doing this. So this is a door I would have welcoming energy, filtering out any negativity that might pass through the threshold. So what I'm using now is a lavender spray. It's a wonderful way to raise the vibration of any room. So this is best outside the front door and then all the way through each room of the house. So what I'm doing now is using sea salt around the perimeter of the house. So once you cleanse the home, this is a great way to create an energetic boundary to keep the bad stuff out and keep the good stuff in. As you're doing this, 
You can work your way around the perimeter of the house. Just be careful of shrubs because they don't like salt. Thank you for watching episode 21 of Renovation Reality. Now, before we end this episode, we had a great comment come in on the website. Now, I wanted to cover it real quick. Whenever you build or do a renovation like this, you should have a contract with whomever's taking on this project. Part of that contract has to do with final walkthrough items. Now, when a project like this is completed, there are little things like caulk and paint and things that aren't quite right. Make sure you hold a little bit of your cash back or have something in the contract that requires your builder or renovator to come back and make sure the house is perfect for you. Thanks again for watching Renovation Reality and sending this link off to your friends, family, loved ones, clients, coworkers, whomever is thinking of doing a renovation to this level.